Okay, welcome all my um, old supporters. I appreciate you and all my new subscribers. This is on my spirit. Are you having a hard time telling your family and friends that you're suffering in silence? Could be your kids, could be aunts, uncles, grandparents, foster parents, parents, besties, um, uncles, aunts, cousins, um, you know, your friends, whoever, that you're suffering in silence. Maybe something you want to tell them. Maybe you want to, you know, say you're closeted or maybe, um, you know, maybe they expect more from you. Uh, maybe they're attention seeking and, um, you know, and you're tired of it. Maybe they're overbearing and controlling. Um, maybe you don't have the finances. You know what I'm saying? There's something, you know, maybe your mental has been hit. Maybe you've been feeling, you know, um, you know, your self-esteem, your self-worth, um, maybe your health is not good. Um, it could be anything. I'm channeling anything. Maybe you want to break free. Maybe you want to get a divorce. Maybe you want to separation. Maybe you're in love with someone else. Uh, maybe you want to move, relocate. Maybe you're just tired of them. <laughs> tired of them, tired of this shit. You know, I don't know. We're just going to look. It's going to be real quick. Are you having a hard time telling your family? Woo! Or friends that you're suffering silence. Help me to get out of self. Help me get out of ego. Help me provide love, encouragement, and support. Let me see what you want me to, uh, to see. Is this man or woman having a hard time? Uh, I think that you love them so much. It's the king of cups. I think you love them and you care about them and you provide for them. Um, you know what I'm saying? And this is, talks about emotions. This talks about emotions and this is a turtle. I think you're very, very careful on what you say and, and how you say it and what you do because I think you could be brutally honest. You could be analytical. Why am I seeing Virgos and Leos in this um, pile? Maybe Sagittarius, is, you know, even Tauruses, you know what I mean? Um, you know what I'm saying? And I feel, and maybe the people that you have to say this to, they could be, what is it, pa Pisces, um, Pisces, um, the, fit, the, the water signs, Pisces, Capricorns, or Scorpios, or you could be, maybe not, I see a ship, you could live out the country long distance, why do I see England or something like that, but at the end of the day, I feel like it's very, very slow, I feel like you really take your time, because I feel like you're, I feel like, I feel like they're, the way they feel in their emotions and the way they receive what you have to say is very, very important to you, kudos, I mean, you're not like, cutthroat or maybe you know overly honest and i don't know if overly honest or being cutthroat is even considered bad in these days and times sometimes you just have to say it and maybe i use the wrong um vocabulary vernacular language you could be just very clear about how you feel but i also feel like you're suffering in silence because you could be very mysterious type men and women but i do feel like you care about these people you love these people this is the king of cups um uh, but i think that you are suffering in silence it's funny because they wanted me to do that you could be a royalty you could be have your own business you could be an actor, a singer, um, you know, you know, some kind of boss man or woman. You could be just a leader of your pack. Somewhere there's a king, you're a leader. You could be very attractive. You could be putting together some political things. I don't know why I have to say that. Um, you could be at the first of doing something. Um, you could be starting your life over again, a new beginning. You could be wanting to get a divorce, a separation, um, you know, separating from these people or a divorce, a separation for somebody that you love and start a new beginning. You could just want to get away from everything everything you could just want to get away from everything he's looking at me like come on what do you see what do you see i see hurt and pain in your eyes i see there's something that you're holding back that you're keeping i see a lot of colors so lgbt could be looking in you could be closeted and you want to you know come out with that you could already came out you have a partner who hasn't came out it's time for them to speak up maybe you want to go to their family their friends maybe you want to tell the world about it you could be in love with somebody else who wants to be a part of the lgbt community somewhere you want to be set free and i feel like because the, the waves are i'm getting i'm and I do have motion sickness and I do um, take pills when I travel. And it's funny because when you're reading cards, if you're a tarot card reader, psychic and seer and shit like that, we swear to the goodness is these part, cards be moving and talking to us. Somebody could very much marry or got yourself in a commitment. And I'm feeling very, very dizzy because I feel like you're going round and round and round emotionally. How do I tell my daughter and my son, you're doing too much. You want all this attention. You want this and that, but you're not really thinking about me. Or how do I tell my wife, my friends, my family or something like that? And I could be wrong. And only about a six some people gonna be be um, drawn to this but i have to do it it's hot topics for newbies don't give me a topic mine come from the spiritual realm and they said are you having a hard time telling your family and friends that you're suffering in silence so you could be suffering but you sure don't look the part now it could be playing on your physical health health it could be your you know your mind your stomach your heart you could be overeating you're not eating a lot you could be aging aggressively but somewhere you know I mean, you could be a cancer or a scorpio or a pisces somewhere that um you know you're feeling that you know you need to be honest are you having a hard time telling your friends or family that you're suffering in silence? Oh, wow. Look at this cup. 
you could be in love with somebody you want to talk you know, I, this is so funny out of four years have i ever seen it like that you could be in love with someone and tell somebody that you very very much love them i love you two men two women two cyclops two aliens heterosexual i don't care um you gonna let me know you're not gonna let me know that look at all these cups cancers um scorpios um, pisces I'm trying to learn this game somebody could be a doctor in the medical field somebody could be very very wise you could be a leo leo or uh, or virgo i keep saying that somewhere in it, an eagle could be very very much a, a important to you you could be falling in love with somebody or falling in love with somebody all over again it could be your husband wife boyfriend girlfriend significant other it could be a crush maybe you want to invest in somebody it could be long distance i don't know um somewhere somebody has captured your heart this is so beautiful and they see you and they hear you and i think that you could be totally different because he got on this um thespian type outfit look like he's in a play you could be an actor uh thespian is the number of men you know men back in the day when they call them actors and stuff but you could have your own you know funky way of dressing or looking or you could not even be because i'm from america you could be foreign from from some other country this person could be very this man or woman that you're in love with they're very angelic they have a very good character very good instance it could be a tarot card reader psychic to see or something like that you could have different relig religions or beliefs but some something something opposite maybe not you could be the exact same look the same same height but something about this man or woman has captured your heart and i feel like it's mutual and if they didn't if they don't know i think you want to tell them and maybe that's what you have to tell other people that you fell in love with somebody else somebody else does it for me or is it time for me to tell this man or woman how much i love them because you could be already um, be with this person, right? Somewhere you're suffering inside. And it could, like I said, it could be the same sex. I don't care. Why do they keep looking at each other? This person is it somebody recognized and understand that you're suffering in silence they validated your pain they actually have been an active listener they're actually hearing you, seeing you. You could be looking at pick a pals too. You could be very much a tarot card reader. Why you want to pay attention to the shoes and to the ground? Person could be a Taurus because those are earth signs. What is that? Tur Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you could be, you could just want to go off to the sunset. Somewhere you are suffering in silence, but somebody gives you peace. Somebody gives you peace. I feel like this is love too. I could be wrong. Let me see. What else? Um, Are you having a hard time telling your friends and family? Somebody makes you happy Um, that you're suffering in silence. I could be wrong. You're going to let me know? You're not going to let me know that. Who are these men and women? Why do I see eagle, lion? Somebody from Africa? African roots? Uh, look at that. You tired of playing these games? <laughs> you could have took a financial hit, but now your money is being right. Or maybe you feel like this man or woman that you could be with um, or walking away from toxic places and things. Um, or maybe somebody's draining you for your money, family, friends, something like that. But you feel like this person doesn't see you that way. And I feel like you feel more long-term because this is a short-term energy. When you get this, somebody goes to you, seduces you, or used to seduce to each other, some kind of romantic dance or some kind of romantic illusion. Uh, could be finances. They could have took you, hustled you for your money. They could have married you for your money. Um, and, and, and it could have been very much what you preference, what you like. Sex could have been good. The seduction could have been good. Work environment, gym, um, somebody you work with, history or whatever, somebody you met, you know what I mean? You know, maybe somebody sent somebody over and next thing you know go why don't you talk to me you know i like you and you got together i don't know something but it came upside down so i feel like the illusion has all been um all you know distorted and it's all wiped out and now you realize that i don't need short term you could be married to this person or separated or whatever i don't want short term i want real love i want real intimacy i want real substance and somebody's going to get hurt because at the end of the day i've really been thinking i feel like you're very methodical i've really been thinking about how and mysterious how i'm going to do this because i'm in love with somebody who sees me they're very vulnerable they're very transparent there's a lot of clear communication there's a lot of trust there maybe the person knows that you love them like this and maybe the person don't only you know that and i think a conversation has to be had and i think what you're suffering is somewhere somebody's not happy and even if you're even if you don't have this man or woman and you haven't met them this is what you want you could be one desire somebody the same age somebody a different age from you somebody more on your you know calibrating on your same um equilibrium balance on your same um mental you know what i mean because as you get older or older could be 19 20 because a lot of 19 20 is actually more mature than people 60 and 50 and shit right so i don't want to really focus and be have a preoccupation with age but i do want to say you want some my right foot is burning you want somebody who values you hears you loves you you can it's mutual and that you can be transparent you can be yourself and i think that that's what you're going through and i feel like you're having a hard time breaking this to somebody and i feel like you're suffering in silence and this is what you have to tell your family members because they're doing too much somebody doing too much anything else yeah and I feel like this is going to be very, very hard. This is—I feel like you have a lot of flip-floppy energy. You can, one minute you feel very um, optimistic, one minute you feel pessimistic. I do feel a lot of travel. This person could maybe not live by you. 
You know what I mean? But I feel like you do feel more optimistic because they make you pay attention to the world. You're going to have this conversation. And you know why? Because it's eroding in you. It's it's eroding in your heart and in your mind and in your psyche. And it's time. You know, maybe you have to tell your son and daughter, you're doing too much. You know, mom and dad, you're acting too much. Or this is who I am. Or I'm coming out. Or I got to move away from these situations. Or I'm in love with somebody else. I feel like it's got to happen. And I feel like it's got to happen because it's point. The King of Cups started. And it, even though we don't know, nobody knows if the King of Cups is mute. We All we know is he don't talk but he's definitely very observant and he definitely feels he has emotions and i feel like you're probably very tired that maybe it's time for you to speak up yeah let me see are you suffering and um uh, uh, are you having a hard time telling your friends and family you're suffering in silence yes you are the king of pentacles the king of pentacles is the ultimate king to you want to marry right because he's the only king that could become an emperor and an emperor is very stable-minded very confident very loving people come to the emperor very strong you can um you know manifest a lot of things this is pentacles um here um some you know so at the end of the day i just feel like you want somebody that's mentally physically spiritually sexually in alignment with you you could have gotten some of that you didn't get all of that or if it's not love and it's family and friends they look at you as a money bag you could be very much the money bag as men and women and you take care of everything and you could be very tired of taking care of everything because i think people are taking privileges if that means something to you right yeah i think you've done good you could be a star a real star you could be a goat around your way you could live castles with castles like europe and shit um uk because i'm like castles and stuff um i see yellow you could be very friendly very approachable i see you stepping on the lion's head so i feel like you've had a lot of ups and downs you defeated a lot of things and now that you're the king in your own you know in your own world in your own um you know career or something like that i feel like you want to transition to something different that's what i'm feeling and i feel like it's going to be a very hard conversation i do feel like people are not going to be as understanding and they should be and that's because they have gotten selfish they have gotten um very um comfortable and you taking care of everything but you're going to have to put yourself first i keep calling somebody they could be king um yeah anything else somebody name can start with a k a i a N, a G, a O, F, a P, a E, a N, T, A, C, L, E, S, or the persons that you have to talk to. I don't know. Anything else? Are you having a hard time telling your friends and family that you're suffering inside? Yes, you are. Because they have gotten comfortable and some of them is not going to be real appreciated because they don't got spoiled. Or they feel very, very tight. Look at that um, um, emperor card. They feel very, very entitled. Knights of Wands. <laughs> you know why? Because they're going to be mad. This is nice and warm. They're going to be fiery, mad, agitated, want to fight, want to argue, want to be selfish. This is the hormone card. At one time, you could have been a true player for real. That's Puff Daddy. I don't want to rise to that. Um, you know what I mean? You could've, it could have been more important to make money, finances, you know, have a different men, different women, or just play this game of, um, you know, being very, um, you know, out there and restless and doing what I want to do and feisty. And I think somewhere in a turning point in your life came that you want to be very, very settled. You could be looking for substance in relationships, Love relationships, friendships, and family. Um, because it doesn't have to be love. You want stability. You want real. You want do you want the real? You want the real. You know how back in the day in the 70s and the 80s and the rappers, and they probably said this in the 60s and shit in the 50s. You want the real, real. Whether it's real relationships with your kids, your family, your friends, your lovers, or breaking away from negative things. You want the real, real. And and I think that they're, they're gonna be in that night to want. They're gonna be in that selfish, wanna argue, wanna fight. Um, all about them um, type um, relationships, the Knights of Wands. Yeah, that's what I feel for the Knights of Wands. Um, anything else? And it's sad that they, they have to be, um, I see a little vindictive and vengeful or be spoiled brats. And they can't um, accept what you got to say. But you're going to have to have this conversation. And maybe that's why. Maybe you made the monster. Maybe you spoiled them. Maybe they're not used to this type of money or this type of um, affiliation or networking or glamour and glitz. Or maybe you just work a nine to five and you're doing very good. You know, you come home to a nice apartment, condo. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, house. And, you know, they're accustomed to a certain way of life. Because I feel like as men and women, you did it. And I think people have gotten really, really spoiled. And they forgot that it's all about you. And you have to have your life, too. I could be wrong. I feel like it's making you suffer in silence. And even if you're part of the LGBTQ, I feel like you go above and beyond. You could be very caring, very loving um, type people. Um, you know what I'm saying? And you just kind of want to live your life. And um, and I just don't think they're going to be real happy about that. It's, sometimes it's good to get a little selfish. I'm sorry. 
What the hell? Yes, because you work hard to get all these coins. Y'all could be Tauruses, Virgos, and Capricorn. You work very, very hard. Nobody gave you nothing. You work really, really hard. Now, you know, nobody's an island. So when I say nobody gave you nothing, of course, you have networking and people encourage you and support you on the way. And some people, you know, whatever. But at the end of the day, you're still the star. You're the star and everything, you're the nucleus and everything goes around you. And I think that people are trying to take that from you. They're trying to take privileges. They're trying to, um, you know, you got to walk on eggshells and you're the one suffering the silence. You're the one working hard. You're the one um, did all this shit. You're the one brought this shit into fruition, right? You know what I'm saying? Look at all these coins. This is definitely about money. Yeah. I, I do hear child support. I don't know why I have to say child support. And then you got these people. You got people nagging. They're so concerned at what you do. They're telling you what to do, telling you how to dress. What the, You know, it's like they're forgetting. And then the, 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 um, the Nine of Pentacles talks about Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles talks about um, you can do all of this, but you got to have a balance. And I feel like, and that's just the way I try to learn my cards. I feel like you don't have a balance. Like everything is not work, 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 or everything is not play, play, play. You have to strike a balance. And I feel like this is what you, you want to tell them. It's like, it's like I have children, um, and they're adolescents now, and I'm the star. And, you know, now my, um, this is examples. I just say I have six dollars, six daughters. And so now, and I don't. And so now my daughters, they want all the fame. They want all the fortune. Look at me, look at me. But the only reason why people see you is because of me and my looks and my body. You know, this is, <laughs> you, might look at, you know, this is a made up story. Y'all you, you get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And that doesn't mean that my six daughters aren't beautiful, but if it wasn't for me, you know, nobody really wouldn't be paying attention to you because there's millions and millions and billions of beautiful and handsome children or let's just use you don't have to be looks you know my intellect i'm the one built this i'm the one did this and um so you know what i mean so now all of a sudden you get my right foot is burned now you got this job in physics and you know and being a mathematician you know what i'm saying but i taught you that or you know i showed you that you had the luxury or you became an actor or actress or you know you got some kind of job or you know or through affiliation none of that you know because you know me and you're my husband you're my wife and i think they forget this and I think this is what's suffering in size. And I think you don't want to hurt their feelings. But sometimes people do need a wake-up call, right? Because I think they take privileges and they, they want too much. And it could be just a 9 to 5. It could be anything. But I do feel like it has to do with money, finances. and um, Or you could be in a group and you're trying to hold everything together. And you're not real happy because you're responsible for everybody, right? That doesn't mean that they don't have a job or they're not responsible. But they're really holding on to everything you do and everything you say. And it's not giving you room for air. And it's very, very hard. Anything else? Are you having a hard time? Work environment group, you know, organizational group, um, music group, I don't care. Are you having a hard time telling your friends, maybe you want to move away from this shit. Are you having a hard time telling your friends and family that you're suffering inside? Yes. Be your last card. Look at that. Look at all these coins. I think you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. You don't want to hurt anybody. You don't want to come off immature because I don't, I don't feel like you know how to be balanced to the point where, remember we talked about harsh and being, you know, uh, saying what you have to say in clear communication. You could come off brutal. Maybe somebody's overly sensitive. You know what I'm saying? Or you also know that, you, that you're their way out. You're the ticket out the hood. You're the ticket out the ghetto, the trailer parts. Or, you know what I mean? Or you keep sustaining this um, valley life or this wealthy life or this rich life or middle, middle class life. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're so responsible. You're such a nucleus that anything you do or say it kind of falls back on you and so if you do something this way then you're responsible and they're going to look at you some kind of way you know i feel like you know you're very, being immature or being selfish or you know you know or you know whatever or if you're if you're helping them then you're good you're you know you're helping them and you can make their life more beneficial but then it also it's a lot of stress and it's also a lot of uh, burdens that you carry and you can become overwhelmed um yeah there's some finances in here y'all gonna let me know y'all not gonna let me know that for a uh, uh four of pinnacles a lot of pinnacles this is your last card are you having a hard time um oh yeah see this is the cancer cancer starts my moving forward i feel like you feel stunted you feel something there's no growth there's no creativity you could experience creative blocks you you know they got you pigeonholed you know what i'm saying and and you just can't you're not moving the, the way you want to move you're you're you're, you're not moving the forward you know but maybe it was a person who's well traveled um uh, you know you know different food um different cultures um different people different friends a lot of networking um how you looked at relationships you could fly a lot you could travel a lot have a lot of different people but now you've taken along other people maybe they have certain ways of doing things or how they see things or what they want you to do when you could have been more free a freer free spirit type man or woman it could be relations family friends something like that and i feel like you feel pigeonholed you feel like you, you can't breathe you're suffering in silence 
Um, you know what I'm saying? If I was somewhere else, I can just come out the closet and be myself. Or if it was just me, you know what I mean? And I made money or I didn't make money. I don't have that pressure. Or, you know what I'm saying? And if I if I say no to my son or my daughter or my family or something, that they're going to be mad at me. You know what I mean? So I never really have a chariot upside down. I got to look that up. And I, I feel like that's how you could be suffering in size. Anything you want them to know. Anything you want them to know. I could be wrong, y'all. <laughs> Moving forward, like you could be very ambitious, you know, have your own desires. You need to move forward. And I feel like people are pigeonholing you. Are you suffering inside? Yes. Because you don't want to hurt nobody's feelings and shit. And then you could have been the one that let them on or got them to where they need to be. And next thing you know, this is not what you want anymore. Because, you know, people do change. They pivot. They go in different directions. And what they thought they wanted is not what they want. And they don't know how to hurt somebody's feelings. And the people they could be around, family, friends, and husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, different other side pieces or whatever, family members, co-workers, colleagues. They could be very much great people, but it's not what you want. And that really makes you suffer in silence because, you know, you don't want to be attached to that. And then some of them could be assholes and jerks and very spoiled and selfish and crybabies and emotionally manipulative and you know what I'm saying and narcissistic and gaslighting and stuff like that or make you feel bad um, for wanting to um, feel like you're getting a little selfish and what's this swore the truth there you go little my swore the truth right and I just think it's time for you to own up I mean don't don't listen to me now I'm just doing tarot card reading only take about 10% say this shit don't belong to me I just feel like it's time for you to to deal with the truth and move forward right and because you're the one suffering in silence, and that's not fair to you. Some of you could be tarot card readers, psychic sincere. Some of you could be looking at tarot card readers and psychic sinceres. Because you need to strike a balance. And maybe they're giving you a little bit of insight, um, you know, what you need to do. Because I feel like you're holding it. You could be very mysterious. You're holding it to yourself. You want to um, foster healthy relationships. You don't want broken relationships. At the same time, I think you're very caring and loving. But at the same time, you, you have to be able to know how to cut people off. The high priestess, she channels the... Um, empress and the empress is about character and loving compassion and caring and nurturing and you know da, 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 da. you know all the stuff of, of, of a mother nature of the world of the universe you know she births abundance and loves animals and cats and she's looked at as the you know of the birth of nations but the high priestess challenges her channeling challenges her you know how i channel and i don't need cards and she tells the empress you know well you know not tell but you know she says put yourself first girl you gotta put yourself and that's what you're doing you're like you could be very secretive not you don't mean to be but you're hurting and you're inside it's because you can't your intuition and your inner self tells you you know i gotta cut these people loose i gotta cut off my sons my daughter my families and stuff because i'm the one suffering or i'm not living my real truth and that and then you're the one who celebrated you're the one have the achievements and accomplishments that don't mean they don't have them and they could have had them you know what i mean they could have had them and you could have got famous or had money because of them that will make sure i'm clear because i don't want to keep myself roped in but at the end of the day you're still somebody and you want your life back and you just want your passion you want your desire you led the truth you people are admiring you but you're still suffering in silence because you don't want to be trapped you don't want to be trapped i feel like you just don't want to be trapped and i could be wrong you're suffering in silence so i guess you have to do what's best for you and i feel like be careful because a lot of hurt people hurt people and i feel like you wounded i feel like you went down this road before you tried to talk communicate your feelings and i feel like people made you feel guilty made you feel ashamed or you you experienced this before i feel like some of them you have good outcomes but maybe the people that you're suffering in silence for is a different um group of people and then we always remember you're the emperor you stand strong people look up to you, you can be very attractive men and women you the you can um the emperor can um, manifest anything materialistic um you know what i mean very sound very attractive men and women um very controlled very stable very confident and i feel like you you're not in your emperor energy you might want well to look up this car you could be very passionate at what you do you could be very understanding very fair um but at the same time you're, you you have to remember you're the emperor you know everything if you don't move nobody else moves if you're not happy and nobody else happy and i think you're allowing other people to share this chair with you and you supposed to share that chair by yourself and i could be wrong it's spiritual it's just uh, uh energy the way i'm talking later